Hello there, and welcome to the Rocket Ridge Rusty Show. This is episode number 17. And in episode number 17, I'm going to be teaching you how to scribe a line with your hands. All right, so what am I talking about here? You know, we're talking about when you don't have a tape measure and you're making a small cut on a piece of wood and you want to just make a quick scribe with your hands. It's a rough cut. You're not too worried about it, all right? Get this up close first. I'm going to show you up close so you get an idea, all right? So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to set the pencil where I want it, all right? What am I talking about? Well, if I want to do a quarter inch, I'm going to use my finger as a guide and set it to a quarter inch. So, if that's like a quarter inch, look at that. You see? You see that line I just made with my finger in my hand? Watch this. I put it with this level. It's pretty much spot on, enough to cut it, right? Isn't that something? Now watch this. I just want to take a, an eighth of an inch off. So I'm going to take my finger in my hand and set it there and just run it down. Now look at that up close. You see that? I don't know if you can see how perfect that line is, but it's perfect enough to take the power saw and make a cut. Okay. Now what I want to talk about is why this is so important to learn. You know, why do we need to learn how to scribe a line on a piece of wood to cut it if, oh wow, look at this, check this out. Can you see that up there? I don't know. Does it work? There's a huge stork just flew over. It's pretty cool. I think it's a stork bird. I'm not sure. Anyways, why is this so important? Well, because when you're making small cuts and you looking for efficiency right you're, you're becoming that craftsman build right like you can you can build quick and efficiently you know you're not gonna every single cut sit here and pull out the tape measure and figure this out for a, a small cut you know if you're doing framing and you're, you're, you're working within those tolerances you know which are standard and very normal you know this being within a sixteenth of an inch or an eighth of an inch or whatever you're working to is going to be okay. So again, you take your finger and you use it as a guide and you position the pencil where you want to make your line. You know, I'm using some force, so I'll be honest, you want to press a little hard when you do this, okay? There's another perfectly straight enough line that if you cut it, and keep your saw and your guard in line with it, it's gonna be straight. I'm gonna do some different views here. All right, so let's get back to this here on a different angle. Let me just sharpen my pencil just a little bit. All right, Ooh, watch that. So look, you got your piece of wood, right? And you wanna cut, just to show you, okay? tape measure. I'm going to mark half inch. Okay. Now when you're doing your scribing a line with your hand and the pencil and your fingers, you know, you're not really going to be able to get it out here. You're not going to be able to get an inch, anything really over, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you could do an inch. I don't usually do it. If I'm going to mark out cutting one inch, I'll probably just set up the, the square or something and mark it. But if it's less than an inch, I'm going to Think about doing it this way. If, I mean, if I'm building a cab, then I'm always going to use a square inch, all right? If I'm building something like that. But if I'm building something that I know you're not going to see the cut, it's going to go against the wall, it's going to be, um, you know, different thing. You know, the wall is probably not perfectly straight anyway. It's going to be caulked, or it's going to there's going to be a scribe piece of molding that's going to fill it. All those different variables and factors we're talking about here. But anyways. Scribing a line with your fingers, okay? So I set my finger to that mark, right? Now look. And if you want to run your finger to make the line darker, you can do that too. Now look at that line, okay? 
it's exact, okay? It's a half inch, you see? You see how exact that is? That's what I mean, it's, it's precision with your, your hand and your finger. Just using your finger as a guide, okay? Let's cut that measurement in half with my hand. And I'll be honest, the more you practice this and the quicker you do it, it actually comes out a little bit str even straighter. Look at that line. Can you see that? It's perfect. Now I hope this video has been helpful, okay? And I know it has been, and I know if you watched it all the way through, it has definitely been helpful, because this is a technique that you can learn and practice. And uh, you know, when you're building things, it, it's definitely a skill to have on your tool belt, right? You got a pencil and you got your hands. You know, I always tell you that the power saw is an extension of your hand, an extension of your body, and what you can do with it uh, basically what you learn that you can do with it you can just start getting creative and so same thing with the pencil and marking lines okay these are very important things to learn okay if I can if I need to take a quarter inch off a piece of wood why do I need to set up three or four different tools when I got a pencil in my hand I just use my hand and my fingers and figure it out okay so again let's look at those lines they're perfect okay I showed you with the tape measure they were perfect. Look, the second line, quarter inch, half inch. I did a quarter inch line, a 16 inch piece of wood. You can do that with any length. You got an eight foot two by four you want to scribe all the way down? Go ahead. Look, this piece of wood right here. I'm not even going to... See? My pencil's running a little low. Okay. Well, look at that. Did you see the line? It's perfect. I didn't use any tools, any fancy gadgets. I just used a pencil, you know? You got some of these guys out there, they got, you know, you think you need a tool for everything, you know? But you gotta learn these tricks, right? Oh man, all the tools on the I just gotta make one more cut, right? take my hand scribe it down now again the edge has to be straight you know that from the last videos but look at the line it's perfect that's how you can make your cuts all right so this has been the rocket ridge rusty show episode number 17 i hope this video has been helpful and always make sure you're safe you know before you do this, you might want to make sure you, you know there's no wood that you could get a splinter on or whatever. You know, just this is a pretty smooth piece I made sure before, I guess. So, yeah, episode 17, scribing a line with your with your fingers, hands, whatever. And I hope you have a great day, and I hope this is useful. Hope you learned something. Take care now.